Check this out guys, this is the northern silver-backed mouse spider. This one is the male, the female, doesn't have the silver on the back and she doesn't do a lot of wandering, they generally stay in their burrows at night. This time of year it's mating time, so the male comes out and he starts cruising around looking for a mate. Check it out guys, this is the male northern mouse spider, also known as Missulina purinosa. Now the males have this silvery colour on the back there, and the females are a little bit bigger, and they generally stay in their burrows. So thanks for joining us on uh, Awesome Animals TV. We've had a bit of interest in a lot of our spider videos, so I thought I'd do a couple more. And in Australia we've got lots of naughty spiders, and everyone, they're quite easy to mix up, so I thought I'd do a bit of a video here and show you guys a few of the differences. Generally, if it's uh, shiny like this guy here, with uh, not much hair on the thorax there, the front part, and a big bulgy abdomen, all jet black and smooth, it's either a mouse spider, which there are eight species. It could be a trapdoor. Trapdoors are 17 different species. Uh, and it could be a funnel web as well. Funnel webs there are over 40 different species, so uh, we're up in northern parts of Australia at the moment. This one here is the northern mouse spider. Now they're found in Darwin around Derby as well, and they're also found over in uh, near Cairns occasionally. Uh, this time of year though, the males will wander around looking for a mate, and they will find the burrows of the females and they'll mate with them. Now, all of the mouse spiders have burrows. Some of the trapdoors, believe it or not, they don't actually have a trap door in their burrow. Now, the mouse spider gets his name probably because of the hole and mice. It's one of those common names, as you know. Uh, don't really make a whole lot of sense. But this guy's the male. Particularly after the first rains here as well, in the uh, start of the wet season, we'll start getting a lot of these guys wandering around, so. So if you don't want them venturing into your home, it's probably best to keep your screen doors closed. Now you can see the huge fangs on this spider at the front there. And when they get cranky, they'll rear up just like a funnel web. Trap doors do it and the mouse spiders do it as well. Now the venom they say is not super toxic like a funnel webs. However, trap door spiders and mouse spiders and definitely funnel web spiders However, if you get bitten by one, you definitely want to apply the funnel web spider first aid, which is a smart bandage uh, pressure immobilization technique. Um, but I had a little bit of a talk with this guy earlier, had a little whisper in his ear. I said, mate, you're gonna be on YouTube, awesome animals TV, be a good boy, don't bite me, and it'll all be good. And later on, I'm gonna release this spider back out into the bush where he came from. I actually had about four in the house over the last, uh, last few nights so we've had a bit of rain up here and that's when they like to come for a visit now they're not out to get you they're not going to bite you but if you do leave your clothes laying around or your shoes they can accidentally come into contact with us and then they could bite you generally if they are pressed up against your skin now we'll see if we can get this guy to uh, just rear up a little bit He doesn't really want anything to do with me. It's not being aggressive. However, they can flare up quite well. So there we go. That's Missulina purinosa, the northern mouse spider. Thanks for joining us guys here at Awesome Animals TV. Make sure you hit subscribe. And if you like the channel, share a couple of our videos. Keep it wild and I'll catch you next time.